Hey guys, today I'm going to basically show you how to make a cursor. I know there's all sorts of ads and stuff for downloading cursors, but if you have an image in mind, you can actually make a cursor pretty easily, like the one I have right here. Like, okay, I'll show for instance, let's open up a new window. Like, I only put made three different animations, one for loading, one for clicking links, and the current one you see right now. Let me see. Click a, when you go to click a link, you know how it usually goes to the hand, well I made it just make my sword go from normal to having a kind of bluish aura. I, I think it's kind of cool. I did this stuff pretty fast actually. Now, the program you're going to have to download, uh, the way I found the program was through a media file link. I'm pretty sure it's free from whatever website it's from, I think it's like Conware or something like that. But I'm not sure. Uh, you need this to be able to make .cur files, which are cursor files, and otherwise you can't. The cursor files are not compatible with uh, just anything really, except for using them as cursors. Because let's see, if I try to open with paint. You know, or no, not paint. Let's just go ahead and do Windows Live Photo Gallery. That's, you know, for opening any kind of images. So, like, that Windows Live Photo Gallery. So, let's try to open it. And, yep, cannot open the photo or video file format. It's not supported. Alright, and I need to change that back. Alright, now this is what the final, this is what the preview looks like for all of them. Now let's see. Okay. Now what I first did, just that I had a general image, was I opened up paint.net. You can also open up just paint. I'll show you both. Alright, paint. Paint.net is a little easier to use. Uh, then paint. I've already got them programmed in on the, well, on paint programmed in on the thing. Here it's just, uh, what was it? No, oh, I always just hit control and you can always just resize, but, you know, if you just hit control N or resize, it'll ask you what. Make sure maintain aspect ratio is off, otherwise, if you type 32, it'll automatically do that. And then you can't get 32 by 32. So you want 32 by 32. That's the average size for cursors. And then zoom in. And all right, say three, four, five, six. All right. Say I just want my cursor to be something like a, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I'll just do something random. Alright, a tilted box. There we go, everyone loves those kinds of cursors. Alright, so say I want my cursor to be that. Now, that's actually pretty easy to make, it's a lot easier than the one that I did. Um, and this file you don't have to do you don't have to make it in paint.net or paint because I can't figure out how to move it from here to here I've tried opening uh, JPEG files but it doesn't recognize any JPEG files it only recognizes ico.cur and .ani no JPEG no PNG no GIF now here, it was a little more tricky to resize, uh, but still pretty easy. Again, do not maintain aspect ratio, and you want pixels 32 by 32. Alright, now again, this you can't just take control plus to zoom in, uh, so we just go as far as we can, and that's it. And you know again just do whatever and then go ahead and make an arrow 
just so that you know where you want your cursor to point to. Alright, pretty simple, right? Don't say that. One thing I've recognized with icon art is that it's, you know, pretty easy. There's no picker tool, so you've got to remember which one of these you used if you want, if you changed off of it. Otherwise, it'll be a different shade each time if you keep putting them on different. Because you can't just pick up the color. Um, anytime you go to close it, and it might not do this with you, but I hit X and it'll always say, We're sorry, but icon art seems to have crashed. Don't worry about it, just hit OK. And it'll only do that if you have to force quit or close. Um, pretty simple. Alright, now making the cursor. A little tougher, but still just as easy. I'm not sure how much sense that makes, though. Uh, if you prefer working without this grid, uh, there is an option right there, and you don't have a grid. I prefer using the grid, though, just so, just so I know where I'm putting my blocks. Makes it a little easier on me. Alright, so let's say we want this to be our cursor and let's color it and there we go so then you save as current icon or save the current icon as a cursor now first couple times I could not figure out what was going on I just clicked save as immediately completely disregarded this set or click to set hotspot if you disregard that, you, uh, what will happen is, here, I'll just show you what happens, okay. So let's just save as, I just go to desktop, let's do one, two, three, save. Alright, save again. You always want to put it wherever the tip of your arrow is. Save as, one, two, three, four. Alright, let's close that. Okay, and control panel, appearance, personalization, and now this is all different for everybody, uh, but this is Windows 7, what I use. Alright, so mouse pointers. You got all these different things to redo if you want to do a complete set of your stuff. I was just really wanting to do the normal stuff. Now, I think you can make larger cursors, but that's more detail, more time, and I was just doing these real quick. I might end up making a bigger one, because this, this cursor is kind of uh, tiny as hell. I mean, you know, it's obviously seeable, but, like, the little black arrow part, kind of annoying on my background. You can't really see it that well, or at all here. But uh, it works. Now let's go normal select, double click or browse. Wherever you save the file to. Alright, let's go down here. One, two, three. Alright. Let's hit OK. Now look. Because this file, I did not set the uh, cursor hotspot, it is the default area, which is the very middle of the picture. So, instead of being right there as the middle, since it is a 32 by 32 block, it is right there. Now, if I go, let's see, here, hit OK, and now it should be, yep. One, two, three, four. I set the uh, hot spot here instead of keeping it at default where it is here. Uh, to change the def or to change the uh, hot spot, all you do is click on that box and move it wherever you want the hot spot to be. So if you like this to look to the right, then you want to put the hot spot in the right. If you want your cursor to point down, you know, bottom left. If you want it to be straight up and down, you can do it top left right left or right you know you can put the hotspot anywhere 
So pretty easy, uh, very simple to do. And let's just reset this back to what I have it at. Desktop, my cursor design, sword cursor, apply. All right. So yeah, that's basically all you have to do to make a cursor or to make a custom cursor without downloading any I mean you still have to download this program but without downloading any harmful cursor things that you see in ads uh... icon art is not harmful or at least not to my knowledge and i will put the link in the description and uh... during the installation let's see i think i still have this alright so you just gotta install next I agree next okay you want to click this I didn't not click it but I presume that it can't be associated with uh, cursor icon file types like I presume you cannot make a cursor if you don't click this just because it says assign the cursor and icon file types to icon art so I think without this icon art is basically useless and after that it's just the installation process exit setup and this was installed correctly alright hope to see you guys around not sure why I just waved to the computer when you guys can't see me physically but yeah hope to see you guys watching my other videos thanks